Open Topics. Gang, 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 we definitely in the building. Shout out to the OTF Open Topics families. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Like, subscribe. I can't say it more. Like, subscribe. It costs you nothing to hit that like and subscribe button. Now, we're here to talk about uh, Paul Williams, man. Paul Williams was an amazing fighter that I love to watch. Um, you know, as a boxing fan, a young boxing fan, I'm, I'm in my, my late 20s, and Paul Williams was one of those guys who just entertained me so much. Um, he beat some quality fighters, a couple names that he beat, so like uh, Kermit Centron, Carlos Quintana, um, Eris Londi Lore, Sergio Martinez, who um, turned around and knocked Paul Williams out in their second clash, which is like the knockout of the fucking year. Um, a wonderful fight. Paul Williams got hit with a shot that he didn't even see coming. He was pretty much put to sleep. He was out of it before his head hit the canvas. Nevertheless, that takes nothing from Paul Williams' career. Paul Williams um, ended his career with 41 fights, two losses. Um, once again, one of those losses coming from Sergio Martinez. But we never got to see as much great shit as we could have seen from Paul Williams because he suffered being paralyzed from a freak accident um, while riding his motorcycle. Um, the incident left Paul Williams uh, wheelchair bound. But nevertheless, throughout the situation, Paul Williams remains in good spirits. And um, shout out to Paul Williams, man. Um, so much love, so much respect for this guy. Because, I mean, just knowing me, um, I don't know how I would have been able to cope with life, being able to walk and do whatever I wanted to do with them from not being, you know, from just having that freedom, that luxury to not being able to walk at all is you know we we don't realize how blessed we are uh in this day and age man we may not be where we want to be in life but we got to thank god every day that we're not where we was every day that we continue to wake up is a blessing in itself there's people who didn't wake up this morning there's people who don't have food on their tables there's people who don't have a place to stay there's people who don't have family and um we just we just gotta you know continue to to, to thank god every day um you know if you're a spiritual person but if not you know, it, it is what it is. Now, um, I feel as though Paul Williams, to this day, would have been a force in the boxing scene, man. He called out Floyd Mayweather. Of course, the fight didn't happen. Floyd didn't want no smoke with Paul Williams. I felt like a lot of fighters didn't want any smoke with Paul Williams because his size was just too much. It was very demanding. Um, even while campaigning in like 154, if I'm not, um, if I'm not mistaken. I believe even 160, don't quote me on it, but Paul Williams said that he could have made 147 easy to fight Floyd Mayweather. And, um, you know, Floyd just wanted no parts of that. And I can't, I'm trying to, you know, imagine how, you know, boxing would be today if Paul Williams would still been in the game. Do you think there would have been, you know, the Canelos, the the, the, the Charlos, the, the the Jared Hurds, you know, you know, the, the Billy Joe Saunders, you know, with, with these guys, you know, been able to, you know, cope with facing someone like Paul Williams, you know, with his with his crazy style, with his long reach, with his punching power. You know, Paul Williams one of those guys who threw a hundred, you know, plus punches around. He wasn't no you know, he was he had, you know, very good win, you know, um good hand speed as well. I I just trying to imagine how boxing would have been. You think some of these guys would have been in the game at the level they're at if Paul Williams was still in the sport. You know, let me know and let's not forget Paul Williams, man. That's why I made this video. Let's not forget Paul Williams. Shout out to Paul Williams. But yeah, comment below. Do y'all think the game would have been the same if Paul Williams was still inside? You know, still boxing, still doing his thing? I would like to know. So for all the, you know, my subscribers out there, um, you know, let me know what y'all think about Paul Williams and show this man support, man. It's only right. OTF the family, open topics.